How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to customize your expressions based on where they are being evaluated. Now for a more concrete example I'll go through the different possibilities. So this is the expression in question, context. Context has one parameter with three options. You can either do host, view type, or view. If you do host, it is going to return a few options, one of a few options. First could be device. If it returns device, that means the expression is being evaluated or another way to say that is the user is viewing it on a device, specifically uh, some kind of smartphone. They're viewing it through the app. It can also return browser. This means that the user is viewing it through a browser. That may seem obvious, but usually that's going to be on a computer. And finally, server. This is something that's happening in the background. Uh, generally means that a user isn't viewing it, uh, but it's happening in the background. So those are the three things that can be returned by host. And you can customize this. So for instance, when I show you examples, they're going to be in the form of formatting rules. But you could also do this to change how an app formula works or displays things of that nature. Next, we have view type. This is going to return different types of views, things like maps, decks, forms, um, form or table. Um, of course, there's lots of different types of views, but it is going to return one of them. It's also possible that it returns null. If it returns null, that means it's probably happening on server side uh, or somewhere where it's not in a view. Uh, an example might be in a report. Next, we have view. This is going to return the name of the view you're looking at. So if I come in here and put, uh, so one of the examples, excuse me, is inventory item, which you can see, or excuse me, type, which we see down here at the right, on the bottom right. Uh, we see this is the view I'm looking at now. It's called inventory type. So this could be an option for what it's returning. Now, to show some examples, I'm going to come up here and say if the host equals browser. So if the host equals browser, so they're viewing it in a browser, um, then I'm going to customize to highlight it blue. Okay. Now, this is going to go ahead and show me all of them independent of what the condition is, but after I save it, we'll be able to see uh, these different things in practice. Now, for this one, I'm saying context view equals inventory type, and I'm saying the name and the current quantity, which are the two things we see here, should be bolded. So we'll be able to show that these are bold, and when I click into them, they won't be because it's changing views. For instance, this is a different view, so this won't be bolded, uh, and neither will this. Finally, um, host. Oh, looks like I accidentally did that one twice. This is actually supposed to be view type. Um, so for this view type, I am going to say detail so that we can see the difference in this view. Uh, and again, that's where this blue is going to show up. Um, Right. Now, finally, we've got device, uh, which means in this view here, the name will have a highlight color red. So I'm actually going to change that. We're going to change the text color to red because I'm doing the highlight color somewhere else. So once I hit save, we should be able to see these changes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and resync it here as well while we're looking at this. All right. So right out the gate when we see this highlight color which is what excuse me what we did here we see the detail which is what we're in here we have a highlight color blue when I click here we see no highlight color next to the names next I go to view and we can see that this is bolded as are these uh, below them which is what we asked for and when I click in they are not now that's a hard it looks like I misspelled desktop. That's unfortunate. Um, but finally, on device, and it looks like since I'm in a browser, uh, we can't really see that here. Um, so let me go ahead and change this to browser, and we should be able to see the change here. 
Um, since this is an emulator uh, and not an actual device, it's hard to see some of those changes. But see, now that I've made this change, and when I come in here, um, oh, I might have synced it too early. But you definitely get the point. Um, you can see all of these are red now. Um, there we go. These are red as well. Uh, because I'm viewing it from a browser. If I was looking at it from my phone, they would still be white. But there you go. That is some examples of how you can customize different things within your app based on how they are being viewed. For instance, within which view, what view type, and or what device your user is using. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more content, please subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you back in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.